Hi everybody, welcome to my channel Ladies English Literature. Today we are going to discuss something about copyright and the rights of the simple songsters or the cultural elements or elemental few features of this who are bearing the burden of culture. I am just speaking a few of the people or few of the sects who are for a prolonged period for there is no known history of their beginning and it is continuing as a creative feature and they are carrying as a community the burden of culture I am telling this burden of culture because the culture they are having with them is so so huge and so huge treasure for humanity even they are not being recognized or not being taken care of their creativity that it itself become a burden of their creation and the laws of copyright is not sufficient enough to protect them. I am just going to tell you the flight of bowels, the plight of Palakirtanians and a few of the Shobhav Kobi or Charan Kobi or birds or Kobiyals. They are on the verge of extinction. The bowels, as you all know, are spiritually acclaimed and they are songs that are far reaching spiritually and linguistically, like that of Chorjapat, the earliest verse form of. Bengali literature is also written by some wanderers, some minstrel wanderers and they composed in such a way whose linguistic variety has appealed us and matured the Bengali language. Similarly, Baul as a song has matured the very cultural as well as linguistic aspects of Bengali literature. For example, the Baul culture that has been originated by Lalon Fukir, whose teaching, whose songs has appealed Tagore. Many of Tagore's poems, songs and uh, spiritual writing, the appeal of Lalon is very prominent. If you take for another example, if you go through the texts of modern, any modern writing, the appeal of wanderers, the appeal of bohemian life, living uh, within, but the desire of heart is without. The always expensive or always expanding way of living style that way of presenting all these kind of aspect of writing is varied in the Bengali text and these origins can be traced way back to the Baul culture. Now what is Baul? I primarily say Baul are like that of um, Agra based learning uh, a kind of uh, a kind of a uh, guru Kula, uh, where from a Baul, uh, Guru Shisha Parampara, the Guru of the Baul teaches his disciples uh, the very teachings of Baul. Baul, it's an aesthetic journey, it's a religious journey 
of knowing oneself and unifies unifying oneself into the unit in, into the into the uh, the lord of lord of light that is father the father of creation so unifying this body and soul with that of supreme lord is the ultimate goal of bhav and it's a sadhana it's a spiritual disciple and it's its spiritual journey has been a mixed culture with that of Sufism and Vaishnavism. That is the another plank of discussion. But in both these cultures, it has the self motive towards knowing oneself. Yeah, you can tell so. Know then thyself, not presume God to scan the proper study of mankind is man. It is ultimately they try to learn themselves and learning myself or learning a, a different introspection is itself a journey towards God because God has created all of us. So Baul culture, the Baul songsters are agra based, they are living in their uh, shaded roof in Guru Sisya Paramparas and they are nurturing their songs, composing songs with their bowl instruments. They play all those instruments and sing and pray to the God. And those songs are spiritually reaching to our heart and reaching to the simple people of like us. Their creative songs and it is being composed by Lalon and later it has been followed by different uh, different Baul Gurus and generation after generation that culture is being followed their songs their creative cultures everything is now is being stolen how the Baul survive Baul survive by singing and army. They beg arms. They beg arms and that is called Madhukuri and they survive by their begging. But their songs which are so close to us are day by day is being stolen. For example, let's take a simple example. So many of the Baul songs are stolen and it is being inserted into music video, into the films, but no credit has been given. And the real Baul say they don't even know that their creations are being stolen. They are hardly surviving. The real Baul who don't have the quality of stage performances. I am telling you the quality, yes. You need to be qualified for stage performances. They are meant for singing for thyself and for God. Why they should sing for audiences? So they are not qualified. So they only sing as a prayer not sing for the audience. So, real bowl never come out of the Gurukula. But their songs are being stolen and they are living in starvation. So, this Guru Shishya Parampara is now aging and dying, dying. No such copyrights is there because hardly they are, their composition is hardly being, being copyrighted. They are easily stolen. They are, they are the victims of copyright infringement. All such laws of copyrights, international as well as national, and that tradition of cultural expression, disease laws, all are there. But somehow and somewhere, these are not giving a proper protection to them. Now coming to the Kittayanas, the popular kirtans or 
or that kind of um, ras rasa that means and the love between Krishna and Radha and presentation and enactment through drama, those performances are missing. The birds, the wanderer, the seafarer are all being written by the wandering birds. But uh, the birds of Bengal is neither having their profession or nor they are having their own survival instinct as they are dying out of having no job, no money, hardly they have been dragged into some performances which are being uh, given a promise that they should be given money and they are being cheated, not given money and day by day the families who were surviving through this type of performances are dying and narrowing and somehow the cultural ministry as well as the enthusiast researchers are trying hard to make a safeguard of these people and to safeguard their cultural expressions and their cultural entity together so that we as a nation, we as a cultural entity survive. It's not only important for our national integrity but it's also for the world humanity too. I think you can uh, invest your time and trying to understand and the flight of these people who are indigenous uh, songsters who are not having the access of YouTube, Facebook, not they are publishing any kind of their creation only their creations and their stage performances somehow if they gain the uh, chances those uh, chances are being stolen uh, by infringing their uh, their particular song and polluting them without giving credit and butter is being stolen by somebody else uh, if not uh, giving any such a controversy uh, Raton Kahar one of the popular and most prominent writer as well as singer of uh, Bengali uh, rural singer uh, whose song particular song has been given a pop-up and um, without giving any credit later it has been legally settled now uh, such infringement is hardly deported one or two are reported mostly they are on, uh, not reported and the plight continues so you should tune in my blog to give some view on the uh, this topic and further and you can also ask me a few questions regarding this so you can also follow my blog that is www.ordenudhi.blogspot.com where i also give some writing uh, for you uh, have a nice day bye bye